<clears throat> hey everybody, welcome to the Mind of Row page. Um, this subject, I'm going to be talking about the warrior spirit named Alegba, who is actually also known as an Orisha or a Loa crossroads deity. And the reason why I am bringing him up today is because in the spiritual group, there's a lot of people who are trying to ascend. And I'm sure you've noticed if you're somebody who's trying to ascend into a higher consciousness, you're dealing with a whole lot of energy vampires. So the reason why I'm sharing this video is to help you protect your energy by learning how to work with warrior spirits. So supposedly we have this big giant spiritual fad going on. Well, as long as I just protect myself with a white bubble, then I'll be safe. I'm sorry to say it, but it only works against so much. This is why the universe has created uh, warrior spirits and a legba or eshu or some people may see him as Papa Legba, is definitely a being that you would like to be friends with. So you don't have to fight anymore. You don't have to fight against anybody who is trying to invade your space, trying to steal your energy. Instead of arguing with these people, you can actually just speak to warrior spirits. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I have a lot of people who follow me who have a history of dealing with energy vampires like myself. And I I learned this long time ago. I probably wouldn't even went through half of the shit that I went through, but obviously we go through things for a reason. So I'm here to help any of you out there who want to learn how to protect your energy and you are into the whole speaking to spirit and speaking to ascended beings. Um, I'm going to teach you basically how to communicate with Alegba and where to go and what kind of things you could offer him. I'm not going to go into a bunch of detail about the history behind him. This is not a historical class and I'm not going to tell too much. And the reason why I'm not is because there's some things out there that's secret that should not be out there. So I'm just going to do some basic things really quick. So what you're looking at right now is actually called an Obi Alegba. My particular one is actually a Papa Legba. Um, I notice a lot of you, I'm sure if you like to Google things about spirits, I'm sure you've seen a lot of information on videos and Google on Papa Legba. My advice to you, if you want to get in touch with the spirit Papa Legba or any guardian spirit like Ogun or Shango, I recommend to be sure that you speak to Eshu or in other words, Alegba first. There are different aspects of Alegba. Papa Legba is actually a more of an aggressive and hotter aspect of a Legba. So if you're first starting out, I would suggest to please be sure you are focused on only working with the, the um, common basic Alegba first. He's not as hot. He could be a little more goofy and easier to communicate with and not as hot and temperamental. This is just a warning to anybody to please do not Google anything about Papa Legba and do it on your own. There has been bad things attached to that. So please... Do, um, learn how to speak to Alegba first and work with him first and getting to know how to befriend him first before you ever try to get in touch with the other aspect of him who is Papa Legba. So I'm not going to teach you how to make your own Obi at this moment. What I'm going to do is just tell you where you could do, go to speak to Alegba. What you want to do is you're going to go to the crossroads. Any crossroads, you want to do a four-way crossroad to be particular because it represents um, the four directions within our universe and you do not want to go to a three-way stop the reason why i tell you that is because there's too much witch energy there so if you want to speak to a legba please go to a four-way crossroads what you're going to do is you're going to go to the four-way crossroads and you're going to pretty much ask for a legba and call him and the way i'm going to get into some more detail on how to do that the reason why you want to speak to a legba is because he is called a warrior spirit is because if there's somebody trying to, let's say there's somebody harassing you and no matter what you say to this person, they tend to keep bothering you. They blow your phone up. They come to your home or they're, you know, this person has really bad intentions and you've done everything that you can to keep this person's energy away from you, but yet they're really relentless and they won't stop and you're tired of fighting. This is the being that you want to speak to. Uh, what you'll basically do is you're going to go to the crossroads and these are some basic offers that you could give him. Um, Alegba actually really loves rum, so I'm going to show you real quick and how you could offer him rum. You could either offer him a whole entire bottle and leave it there, or what you could do is you'll go to the crossroads and you'll spray rum three times. And the reason why I say three times is because Alegba represents the number three. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do right really quick. When I say spray, you could either put your finger on the bottle like as so and spray it, or what I would recommend is you're going to put it in your mouth and spray it out of your mouth like so. Let me show you really quick. So what you're going to do is you're going to, oh, I'll put the candle out. 
what you're going to do is you're going to do that three times and you're going to ask for a legba for your protection okay you're going to say a legba please confuse my enemies do not confuse me please bring me peace and whoever tries to bring chaos into my life please return that chaos back to them and here's some basic information so a lot of people are just tapping into spirit world and aren't really too mindful of the spirit speaking back. So the best way to be able to communicate with the leg buzz actually through pennies. So I'm going to show you how to communicate through pennies really quick. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're basically going to take four pennies and you're going to ask him yes and no questions. And if you want to, you can just tell you can actually tell a leg by a leg by, I need to ask you yes and no questions. And the reason why you need to ask him questions is because you need to be fair. If you ask a deity for a favor, you need to pay back. And when I say pay back, I mean with rum, things that they like, or cigars. These are two major things that he likes. And also, honey. So usually if you're asking for a leg by, to do any work to to protect you from dark energy from others, you would typically want to offer him things like rum and cigars. And what you're going to do is you're going to ask him for the favor. Like for example, Alegba, can you please stop so-and-so from sending negative energy towards me? Can you cause this person confusion so they please so they would please stop confusing me? And then you will ask, what would you like for this request? And you'll simply take this. And you'll ask a leg bar, and then you'll spray him. Let's say, for example, like how I just said, you'll spray him with the rum and you'll ask him a leg bar. Would you like another offer? And what you're going to do is you're going to toss the pennies. OK, so I'm going to show you what I toss real quick. I said, do you want any more offers? And so basically what it is. So heads up means yes. OK, heads down means no. So if all four of them were down and you asked, a leg but do you want any more offers for this request <clears throat> let's say for example all of them were down like this then that means the answer is no he doesn't want any more requests if all of them are up like this then it says yes he definitely wants um more so i'm just going to give you base i'm not there's way more info you could get from pennies but i'm not going to get too detailed in that what i'm going to do is give you yes and no basic basic instructions on how to read with through pennies so if it comes off it comes up two heads and down and then two heads up. What this basically means, it's positive energy because it's balanced between the two. That's also actually a yes as well. So if you toss the pennies and you get three down and one up, what that would usually mean is either no or no but. And that's when you would toss the pennies again after you ask your questions and say, you have to intuitively ask, well, do you want more rum? And then you would throw the pennies again. Or would you like a cigar for this often? You throw the pennies again, okay? So if the answer comes up with all three pennies up, <clears throat> usually what that would mean is he wants a more of an offer. Or the answer would be usually be yes, but. And let's say you asked him, would you like another offer? Sometimes if it says yes, but, that means he might want an offer, but he wants something other than what you asked for. And sometimes it could be something um, really basic as in food. So because a legba actually likes regular um, food, you could either just really try to use your intuition and ask him what kind of food. He actually likes candy. He likes all kinds of food. If you have, if you happen to be talking to a leg bun, you ask him a question, would you like this? And it comes up with a yes, but um, answer. And you feel like he's not satisfied with what you have, with what you have, that what you offered him. You got to think, is there something sitting in your car at the time that he might like? Let's say there's, there's candy sitting in your car. Let's say there's candy sitting in your pocket. Or maybe you just bought sweets that day and it's sitting on your counter at home. Sometimes a yes, but can mean, oh, he wants that cookie that's sitting on your your countertop you know that's the type of thing you want to think of when you when you get like a yes but kind of answer and then and then basically you're given that you don't have to give him a whole cookie or whatever unless he specifically asked for that through divination when you throw the pennies but you would usually just get a kind of, kind of a piece to him and give it to him and then what you want to do after you give him the offers you want to say thank you and what i like to do too is after i feel the outcome happen and it comes true. Let's say you ask a leg, but can you please protect me from this person? And they've been blowing your phone up, for example. And then once you give a leg by these offers and all of a sudden you see these phone calls stop and you realize it works. It's really good to go back to the crossroads and thank a leg by and throw him maybe even just a cigar or just some spray him with some rum or leave him some rum just to show your appreciation. Okay, so um, a leg by is called a crossroads deity. So he actually works in the realm of before everything is manifested. So I don't know if you're the type of person who um, has ever been that between sleep and awake mode. That is called the crossroads 
area of within the universe and this is actually the realm that he dwells in he is the keeper of the door of the gateways and he's the keeper of the doorways therefore if you want an opportunity to be opened up for you and you feel like there's a lot of cl doors cl closing that is his realm so this is a deity you want to speak to and give offers to to find hey can you please open this door for me he's also a doorkeeper to other dimensions and um communicating with other spirits so if you want to speak to anybody who's passed away if you want to speak to even an ascended being you're going to need to go to a leg bar to ask him to open that doorway to you to help you communicate with other beings that is his realm and that is his place so i'm going to give you some warnings really quick i don't want to scare anybody or anything the reason why i'm going to give you guys some warnings is because there's too many people googling things and following directions online and they end up having a lot of chaos happen in their life okay so a leg bar is considered a trickster spirit because he is in between all worlds basically a legba could do whatever he wants when he wants and have no punishment for it he loves to mess with people with a lot of ego who think they know everything because he is in the realm where nothing is for sure and nothing is not and nothing is if that makes any sense i know it's really hard to understand as a human being but that is the realm that he's in so if you come to a legba with a lot of ego he will send you confusion and he'll send you so much confusion to where you question your own reali reality until you finally realize your reality is an illusion. And then once you realize your reality is an illusion, he'll start teaching you things. He is a teacher and he'll teach you the aspect of the universe, how it works, how it doesn't work. And everything that you think is real, how it's not real. And everything that is not real is real. <laughs> he is the being that will help you do that. I know that sounds really confusing, but the more you work with him, the more you'll realize how much what you see is an illusion including everything everyone's complaining about the government everything is an illusion <clears throat> warning papa legba is considered a hot spirit note that i did not say a legba and i did not say eshu i said papa legba so there's different a aspects of a legba papa legba is actually considered a loa which is a Vodun spirit an aspect of eshu who can tend to be hot and short-tempered if you were not pleasing him correctly so when i say that i mean he could bring you chaos and confusion when i see mean chaos i don't mean he's going to go to your house and haunt you i do mean you'll start to see crazy things happen within your life like you might go through a bad breakup you might get robbed your car might get stolen your car um, might well crashing your car will be a different deity but um you might cause a lot of fights within your home within your family and the reason why that would happen is because you disrespected papa legba because you googled something and you did something that you shouldn't have done okay so this is just a warning to you to please do not google things and just do it at home without having the ability to understand and communicate with spirits and understand the aspect and personality and issue of the spirit because if the spirit is telling you i want that soda on the table or you asked for a big favor but you only want to give minimal he will be very hot tempered and irritated by you and he will cause chaos in your life so please do not go on google or youtube and google things on how to create papa legba and how to summon him in your home he is not the being you want to summon if you do not know how to work with a legba if you do not know how to work with eshu do not start with papa legba this specific one that i have in front of me is papa legba because i have experience with all the other versions of him so if you go online you're going to notice you're going to find papa legba veves do not use that veve and do not summon him and draw it anywhere within your home or anywhere out if you don't know what you're doing because it will cause chaos in your life and this is where the concept of demonizing papa legba came from people will do this disrespect the deity and then blame the deity and demonize the deity for the way the deity reacted to their disrespect so do not be that person it's the same aspect of asking somebody to do a big favor and then you don't give back to them and then you call them again and ask them for a favor and don't give back to them and then call them again and ask them for a favor and don't give back to them that's disrespectful and it's not only disrespectful to people it's disrespectful to spirit as well so please don't see anything wrong with the concept i'm pretty sure if you had somebody asking you for favors you would want to be respected as well so please do not go on google and draw a veve in your home of a papa legba and try to summon him and then act surprised if something happens because you're not doing it correctly okay this is just a warning 
But once you do get to know Alegba and all the different versions of Eshu, Papa Legba will open doors for you, he will protect you, and he will be loyal to you. As long as you are loyal to him, as long as you are hearing him when he speaks to you, and you are spiritually connected enough to be able to hear what he's saying, then he will do all kinds of things for you. He will teach you, he will protect you, he'll keep all kinds of toxic people from fucking with you. He's a great deity to be able to um, work with at that aspect, but please do not start with him at first. Okay, y'all. Um, certain things you could offer him is he loves palm oil. He loves food. He loves sweets. So if you ask, you could actually ask a legba to bring you sweetness. And whoever tries to bring any hotness or sourness to your life, you could basically say, because he's a good transmuter um, um, deity. What he'll do is he'll transmute negative energy into positive energy. So let's say someone's causing a lot of chaos in your life. You're going to simply ask Papa Legba. Or not Papa Legba, so I'm sorry. You're going to ask Alegba, Alegba, can you please, can you please send back any negative energy my enemies are sending me and bring me sweetness? So what you'll do is you ask him to bring you sweetness. You're going to offer him something sweet. He loves honey. So you're going to go, go I'm just going to use this as an example. You're going to go to the crossroads. And in the crossroads, you're going to leave honey. You're going to, not the whole body, you're going to, you drip it and ask Alegba to bring you sweetness. And, and um, reverse all negative energy from those that try to send ne negative energy to you and please send it back to them. And if you know you have been loyal to Eshu um, Alegba, you're basically going to say, Alegba, I have been serving you and my enemies do not serve you. So please confuse those who confuse me and protect me from those that negative energy. Okay. So, um, let me think. Is there anything that I want to tell you? Um, I am actually, I'm not going to give too much information because he is a very, very, very powerful deity. And even if you don't um, believe he's around, this being is around, there's a such thing as crossroads. This is where we go when we die. This is um, when you see the concept of anything being manifested or opportunities not opening up to you or opening or they are opening up to you. This is a being that controls those aspects. This is the energy because everything is energy. That is actually Eshu, Alegba's energy. So um, the more you realize that and the more you respect that energy, the more doors you're going to have open up to you. So um, I am going to offer a class for anybody who wants to learn how to work with Alegba. I will be way more detailed. I'll actually make you, and this is called an Obi right here. I'll actually make you a consecrated Obi, Alegba. And what it is, is and still you don't have to keep going to the crossroads, you'll have that same energy brought into your home. And what you'll do is you'll bring this and you'll have it in um, by your front door. Mine, this, I have one upstairs by the front door, but this one happens to be at the doorway of my pyramid, so I have two of them. So um, I will actually make an obi for you and I will consecrate your obi for you. I'm not going to tell you how to consecrate it and activate the obi for your alegba for you. And I will teach you how to work with your alegba. And I'll actually communicate with your alegba for the next following three months after I do take a course with me and how to work with your alegba. I am charging 75 for this class. And the reason why I'm charging that much is because I'm going to make this for you. And I will send this to you and give you all the classes and because after I teach you for the next three months I will communicate with him for free for you if you feel like you're trying to communicate with your leg and you feel like there's some confusion or things happening in your life and you're for some reason you can't understand why I will communicate with your leg for you for the next following three months for free you could hit me up whenever you want and say hey why is my leg um not protecting me from this or why is this happening or why do I feel like I annoyed him when I gave him something or didn't give him from something? You could pretty much just hit me up and message me and say, hey, can you talk to my Alegba? And I could talk to your Alegba through my Alegba that way. And then until you get the hang of it, you should be able to get the hang of it within three months. So if you're interested in doing any of that and doing a class with me, just let me know. If you have, if anybody's watching this right now and you have any questions before I um, end the video, go ahead and just shoot me some questions. Before I go, I want to thank Alegba. For being in this video he'd be a little camera shy sometimes or not he probably likes it <laughs> but if you have any other main questions pretty basic questions about a leg butt how you could work with him just going to the crossroads go ahead and just private message me if you like and i'll give you some basic instructions just know that i will not go too much into detail if you were to private message me because he is such a very powerful being 
I can't give you too much information unless you're willing to do a little sacrifice yourself for me as well, if that makes any sense. So um, if you're interested in learning, if you have any more questions, go ahead and PM me. Peace out, everyone. I hope everyone's energy is protected today. If your energy just feels like it's not being protected and you feel like some people are vampires and they're feeding off your energy, you already know who you need to talk to about that. Have a good day, everybody. I love you.